going on, people? Welcome to Throwdown, episode 240. I am your host, Tony Polanco, and tonight I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. Brett Murdoch. What's up, everybody? And Adam Vale. What's up, humans? Yo, man, what you drinking, man? Not the old business. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You know, he's, he's drinking uh, Haterade, man. That's what he's drinking. <sighs> Hate those Neo Geo motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Let's talk about those games. All right. Man, fuck those guys. By the way, uh shout out to Kristen, Chris's wife, who's her it's her birthday today. So uh, her and Chris are Yay. celebrating. Happy all birthday, right. Kristen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you for all of your chat moderating help. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Keep, keeping these fools in line. <laughs> you know? Oh man. And um uh, we're gonna start the show on a little bit of a somber note. Uh, just gotta you know pay our respects to Etika, man. Uh, unfortunately, he uh, he ended his life. Uh, some people thought it was a publicity stunt. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Uh, Why get- do people always think that shit? I don't know. Publicity stunt. Everybody uh, thought it was. I was like, I don't think it is. Pop back up and be like, ta-da, motherfucker. Well, that's actually what, exactly what some people thought, which is kind of fucked up. It's like, yo, you found his belongings by the Brooklyn, or was it Brooklyn Bridge, right, Adam? Yeah, it was on the bridge. Yeah, was, they like, found I, it like six days ago. Yeah, I was like, yo, bro. It wasn't the Brooklyn Bridge. It was the Manhattan Bridge. Manhattan, Manhattan, yeah. That's even higher. Yeah, so, yeah, like, you know, and I think the day before they made the official announcement, they found a body in the river. It's like, oh, shit, here we go. Um, it, it, it's, it's crazy, man. I, I just wanted to get your guys' uh, thoughts on all this. Manny, you know, you and I, we, we were talking about this just the other day when we were hanging out, you know? Yeah, on uh, Tuesday, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know. Uh, just, just, you know, I guess, you know, you really don't know what some of these people are going through, you know, until you know, shit like this happens. But I don't know. But anyway, go, go on, because I have some things. Like, but Manny, go, what do you think about all this? Oh, he might be. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it was, it was just felt pretty crazy, like. You know, he's kind of just going through it right in front of everybody's eyes. I feel like this is the first time anything like that has ever happened. Yeah, we're like with a streamer specifically, right? Exactly. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> yeah. By the way, you're going to be hearing those kind of kind of sounds from Manny for the next couple of months because uh, you're Manny. Can we talk about it publicly now? We can, we no, can't. we can't. We actually cannot talk. about Okay. It. Well, he's he's he's, bu- he's making good stuff for you guys. He's busy yeah. making good stuff for I'm you. I'm going to be traveling it's up. Mystery to unravel. Yes. Um, I'm be traveling up to New York uh, for for a few more for a few months. So yeah. So you're going to hear me uh, hear, hear these these noises. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Bill, you're right about that. It's like basically we kind of saw Etika publicly breaking down for months now or even longer. And it's just so weird how nobody really could help him, you know, or or maybe if they I don't know, like were people unable to help him or did he just not want to accept the help? But it's kind of hard to they, tell. They said you know? He wasn't really responding that he was just going off. He had that altercation with the police a while back and. Then uh, there were some other issues going from there, and he said he had some other mental stuff happening. And it, it, yeah, it was, um, sounded like he was just some melting down internally. Yeah, yeah and, that- I, and I and I feel like you know at least with the, the his last video or letter or you want to call it, like I feel like like a lot of times what happens with people who have mental disorders is like you know they don't realize they have a problem obviously because it's all in their head. And then the other thing is that you know, that you know, they may you know may not intend you know intentionally be pushing people away. You know. Yeah. And, you know, you could have the you could have the worst disease in your life, and people will be supportive, but don't be crazy. Yeah. You know? no, that's it. Then they stay away. They're like, oh sure. Yeah. yeah. The crazy thing too is like that. Like a lot of people in the community like, knew him. Like they've met him personally. They've hung out with him, uh-huh. and everyone was speaking like glowingly of him like everyone like like knew him as like a really like fun gentle person so it's 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 kind of sad that like but the thing yeah. about the the thing about it like you know being a fun person you know you could also be going through a lot of things you know I, i've known some folks that are like you know they're, they they seem like they're a really happy go lucky sort of person but really they're kind of going through a lot and they're almost the, the the face that you're seeing is almost like a put on for what's you know a cover for what's really going on you know 
it's, it's a mask. Um, yeah. One of the things that I do want to disagree with you, Manny, is, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm using you more as an example here, so I apologize. Um, <clears throat> when you say, like, you can be a lot of things, but don't be crazy. I, th- I think that's a stigma that permeates our, our society. And I think that's something we kind of need to get over a little bit. Like, cause no, cause even, even being suicidal isn't crazy. And I don't think labeling it. Oh, crazy. well, um, here's what, here's what I mean. And I understand why you're, what you're saying. Cause I just generalize what it is. Right. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you see like people, you know, have, you know, terminal diseases and everybody's incredibly nice and all this stuff. But, a person going through something that is, you know, that may not be so, um, you know, acceptable, people tend to walk away from them because they don't want to deal with it. Exactly. Well, and there's a stigma, too. And I, I think that I don't think you can do much about the walking away. Some people just walk away when shit gets tough. Like you know, it's- and it's it's it sucks because it's like you, you see, you you know. Obviously, you know, you see a person has, you know, needs some help, but uh, but there's that other thing that's in the way themselves when it's like, you know, uh, you know, you know, it's just not it just doesn't it just stinks that that something like that has to happen. Where do you go? Exactly. Yeah. And then the thing is, and the best thing is to have people around you who know you, who know the real you and not a bunch of people who are just like just know you as you are currently you know yeah the the public persona by the way mandy though i the i took your comment as and I, and I agree with it by way what you said it's basically if you if you're you know have an arm chopped off or you're you know you have cancer or whatever people are really willing to like go out there and like you know uh, help you out but if you have a mental disorder then they'll kind of more they'll walk away so it's kind of unfair you know no, okay, but see, there's well, you've seen it firsthand. Well, yeah, I've, I've seen, seen that firsthand. all the time. Yeah. I, know, I know you've seen it firsthand, but that's not the kind of thing that, like, that's the kind of thing that everybody needs to be pushing against. And that's not the kind of thing, like, you will find somebody if you push hard enough who cares. There isn't nobody who cares. And that idea that there's nobody who cares, that nobody I'm not saying that. It, not, no, no one's saying that. No, saying we're saying, no, we're saying that. that we're saying, we're saying that people, yeah, we're saying that people are more willing to go get away from you when if you have a mental disorder whereas if you had a more outward um type of problem that's what i'm trying to get at you see that all the time and you're right brett it is fucked up that it's like that but that's how people are like if you have some kind of mental thing they'll they'll just walk away from you rather than try to help you but if you have some actual like external thing that everybody can visibly see then people are more willing to help you you know and and that is fucked up that yeah, people are like that you I, know, you know and that's why i disagree because i mean that there tends to be more sympathy for, uh, you know. I, obviously, I don't want to get you personal on this thing because I know firsthand about something like this. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean from what I, I've experienced, from what I from what I've experienced, that is what it, that is that was happening. But and I get that. Maybe it was maybe it's different for you, but I know no, that's no, no, what no, happened. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you think mm-hmm. you guys think that people who break their spine or get cancer. Have people rally around them? I can tell you from personal experience. I'm not. Somebody gets cancer. Yeah. Two thirds of your social circle just disappears because they don't know how to handle it. Oh no, I agree with you on that. But I'm saying you're probably gonna have even less people with you if you have a mental issue. And I'm and I'm speaking about from experience here. You know. Mm-hmm. People get scared. Yeah, and they don't know. How to react. I think it's, that's just generalization. When people, when when you have an issue that people don't know how to deal with, they get scared right. and uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They, they I guess. Away. I, I, I guess we can we can all agree that everything that everyone's talking about is anecdotal. Yeah, yeah we I, yeah I think we could we could say that fairly you know, um, but either way you know going back to to Etika yeah it, it's sad man and, and um and I'll talk about you know Mash Fest later on um I, basically I, I went to Mash Fest which was a local uh, New York um event and a lot of people I was there you know I, I saw that night they knew etica they were telling me about him and what was cool about the event organizer he actually had everybody give like five seconds of silence for him which was really really cool but yeah I'd like so i kind of learned a little bit more about etica that night um but you know like you guys were saying it's like everybody kind of saw that specific mask but i mean everybody wears masks let's just be honest everybody wears masks but some people you know different you know i I don't know how to what the fuck i'm you know i think you guys don't know know what i'm trying to say it's like everybody has a a mask they wear but uh some of them are are, i guess thinner than others his was i guess a thicker mask that prevented you from really seeing what was going on 
You're not supposed to wear a mask. I mean, you, you kind of have to, though. You can't be. No, you like, don't. And, and yeah. I'm not. I, I'll be honest with you. Like, okay. Yeah. We need a stronger uh, structure for mental health in this country, and that partially comes down to stigma. And we need to stop demonizing the idea of therapy. Everybody should go through therapy once, at least once. And there are too many people in this world who sit there and think that therapy is just for crazy people. It's not. Yeah, I agree um, with that. We, we have too many people who, in this country, in this, in this world, who think that if I tell somebody that I have some sort of mental issue that I'm wrestling with, people are going to disappear, or people are going to think I'm crazy, or people are going to throw me in a mental hospital. You know, the, the idea of, of there's nowhere to turn is all born out of this stuff. We need to normalize. We need to stop demonizing. We need to realize that people have issues. Everybody has something that they're wrestling with mentally, and having a good, strong support structure is important and the thing that i want everybody to take away and i'm not trying to get preached but everybody who's listening take away if you see a friend who's struggling reach out i got a call from a buddy or i got a message from the other the other day from a friend who's like hey man i just wanted to thank you for being a good friend uh, for everything you did all, for all these years immediately i was like on on his ass like what is going on you need to talk to me what you're you're clearly struggling i need you to i need you to open up like we as people and individuals need to stop treating this like, you know, just be that we need to stop treating people who are wrestling with mental issues like they're crazy. And that's that's my only concern with some of the stuff. Like, I don't want people to walk away from this podcast thinking that the panel agrees that, yeah, if you say if you say something, people are going to think you're crazy and you're going to lose half your friend base because people are going to run away and they don't know how to deal with that shit like that is. And while while there is some truth to that anecdotally, like that's not a point of perception that you can have because that's the idea that drives you to suicide. The idea that you really honestly need to be pushing forward to everybody who's listening is that if you have an issue, reach out. And if you have a friend who you see struggling, and if you see somebody acting abnormally, follow up. Sometimes it just takes a few minutes and just knowing that there's somebody there will stop them from going out and doing that thing because the real goddamn truth is if somebody wants to kill themselves you can't fucking stop them yeah there's nothing you can do about it you need to stop it before it gets to that point stop it and and make it so that people don't feel alone don't stigmatize don't call them crazy because it's not it's not sometimes it, the world is just too fucking much and it grinds under heel and you need a little help up and that doesn't make you crazy and that that fear of being labeled crazy and then carrying that label around like a big scarlet a for the rest of your life across your social circle is the reason that nobody talks about this shit they're afraid they're going to be the crazy one like why can't you have a friend who struggles with bipolar every once in a while and it, it can just be that like yeah it's an issue everybody you know it's it's an ailment it is a chemical condition in the brain this is something i've had to talk to a lot of people who have mental issues is look man your brain just isn't making enough of a certain chemical or it's making too much of a certain chemical it's a physical handicap and as you you, you can change that either through mental exercises to learn to deal with it or through medication or a combination of the two and doing so doesn't do anything but put you on a more level playing field with everybody else if you had allergies you take allergy medication so you're not wheezing and coughing and having an asthma attack every time you go outside and you do that so that you can stand with you know the rest of society so that you can try and move forward as uninhibited as possible same thing with uh, you know with, with mental issues man it's you just want to address the root cause, and but, but you make it seem like that's what they want to do. Most of them don't want to do. Yeah, it. And, and very yeah, no, most of them don't want to do, do it. Yeah, yeah, most of them don't want to do that because they're afraid. Here's the here's the gods on. Oh, well, not afraid. They just don't see that they have a problem. Can Can I mention something no, they real quick? They have a problem. I, and and Brett, oh, no, no, not mine, not mine. Yeah. By the way, Brett, I'm not disagreeing with anything you said, and you're kind of reinforcing my point exactly. Like, there is a stigma about this shit, and people are, like, if you say you have a, you're have bipolar or this or whatever, people will be like, eh, you know, they just want to stay away from you, which is really fucked up, but that's, you know, kind of how it is, which is insane. I'm like, yo, that's just a, you know, it, like, yeah, it's like if, if you have a broken arm, you go to a doctor, you know, you have a cold, you take medicine, but when it comes, if you have you know, have a mental issue, then it's like, you're going to go see a therapist. What's wrong with you? How fu It's fucked will. up, you know? So, some people will, but see, that that's where I think it's the wrong way to look at it. If I, if I go to jail, some people won't bail me out. If I need a ride to the airport, some people won't bail me out. I, I don't walk around saying people won't help me if I need 
a ride to the uh, airport. If yeah, I need but you're also meal. saying there's a stigma. You're you're we're kind of agreeing, we're arguing, and, but agreeing at the same time. Yeah, you just said there's a stigma, and I'm saying there's a stigma. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but perception is important. You need to focus on, especially as a podcast host with an audience who might have mental issues, Tony, that just reach out and somebody will pick up somebody will be there for you but i'm so, not saying that know. and we're kind of you know giving uh, both sides even though there's the same thing i'm just trying to lay out the truth here and and i and i and, I, and Dude, i'm trying to say it's fucked up that you should be responsibility out. as somebody with a platform not to be highlighting right i don't know why people. okay and by the way you're turning this into a whole different thing right now because because <laughs> oh, by the way Rico, what's up basically I'm, what's I, good yeah i'm, I'm trying to, I, I like i don't see what the hell i'm saying that's so wrong you know i'm 100 percent right in this and so are you you're also right so because i don't see what the point of contention is here you know you're yeah. what you you think i'm out there telling people like oh no don't seek help i'm not telling people that shit what the fuck is wrong with you bro i'm not saying that shit you know i'm just saying that it's fucked up how in this country you could be out there with a visible uh, ailment people are more willing to help you than they would be if you have a mental one which is fucking wrong you know, but that's just how it is. I and I think that's fucked up. So I don't I don't see what the hell I'm saying that's wrong there. And not to mention this, and and not to mention this young man was had had a very public, uh, you know, battle with this. You know, mm-hmm. nobody bothered to ask these questions. Exactly. He managed to they, they didn't they didn't keep him for any more observations. He got out and he had another incident. There's at least three incidents with him. And they didn't do one thing. And you and you have to think, man. If someone as popular as him can't get help, like who can? Exactly. During it, that situation, exactly. and that goes back in, to the stigma in, the, in this in country. In New York City, one of the one, yeah. one of the places that has that arguably, has, arguably, definitely no, not even arguably, definitely one of the most popular places in the world. Yeah. And this man couldn't get help, you know. You know, and also, I mean, here's the thing. Obviously, if you have a disorder. Again, you know, you don't, it's hard for you to, to realize that you're not, that you need help. A lot of people who have it tend to push that sort of stuff away. Something had, something had to have happened where he had to realize, like, wait a minute, there is something wrong. And maybe I should do something about it, you know. But it didn't happen. And it was people, the people literally calling, calling the cops on him to, because they're afraid for his life. You know, his friends, you know, saying, you know, telling people, like, tell, saying, listen, there's something seriously wrong here. Where was this guy's family? Yep. Yeah, that is a good question. Where was you his know, family? You don't hear anything about his family. Like, if he was going through these problems, who knows? Maybe he somehow pushed his family away and they didn't want to deal with them. That'd be crazy. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, here's the thing: if you have if you have a mental disorder, you officially can't actually be put in by just a, some, you know, somebody who doesn't know you. It has to be somebody from your family that does it. So maybe that's why they didn't do it. You know, I don't know. And that's the frustrating part of it because it could have been stopped. Yeah, it could have been like because they're supposed to hold you, uh, 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 Brett, uh, uh, just real quick because they're supposed to hold you for seventy two hours, right after something like this happens. They held him for 17 hours, and he was just like, oh, yeah, it was just a YouTube thing. I was just joking around. It's like, okay, sure, and they let him go. Fucking crazy. Anyway, go ahead, man. Well, the reason they do that is because, like, those places, like the, the state hospitals, I'll be honest, they're not great. I've, I've had a, a buddy who was just forgetting with some stories of them, and they're um, – they're they're not pleasant. They're not the there's there's a wide gap between. They're the they're inc- Go ahead. So they're incredibly tough. They treat everybody exactly the same. Mm-hmm. So even if you have if you even if you're so you may not be suicidal, they might treat you as you if you are because they don't know what you have or what's going on with you. So they're they'll do it all. Institutionalized too. It's very yeah. prison esque. And unfortunately, there's a wide gully between like professional help and state hospitals. That just isn't really filled very well. Um, so, yeah, I, I know several people who have been to a mental hospital, and they, they kind of walk out, honestly, worse for wear, and saying, you know, that's that's something I never want to do again. Um, those are the people that I'm honestly more personally concerned in my social circle. 
of because they don't have that safety net because they would rather <clears throat> go jump off a bridge than go into a mental hospital. And when you have that kind of situation, you just given somebody's a soap, you know, somebody a Sophie's choice. It's just it's not fair. Yeah, and, and that goes to my point about how fucked up, uh, you know, mental health uh, in this country is how it's treated. You know, like I it, absolutely agree. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. It's a hard thing because again, it's like you don't have. Like, you don't know what somebody has. A mental illness is like, it's different for everybody. Some people can have, you know, different mixtures of symptoms, you know? So, it's, it's so, di it's, it's probably the most difficult thing to diagnose. Yeah. Because it's not like, a, it's different for everybody. It could be a chemical imbalance. It could be any other thing. And they friggin' Dr. Frankenstein you and try a thousand medications on you. To see which six... Yeah. To see which sticks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, you know, it's, to be honest, I feel like there, it, something could have been done with this. It didn't need to end this way. Yeah, especially how public it was, you know? Exactly. That's, a, you know, and that's, it, it, it just seeing it all happen right in front of your eyes is just, it's horrible. Yeah. Anyway, any last words before we uh, get to the show proper? Uh, you know, if you have problems, you know, seek some help. Yeah, you don't know? be don't be think, afraid, man. Don't don't be afraid. About, think about your family. Think about your friends. You know, and really go out there and you know, and also don't for, and you know, guys who know people like that, don't forget them, because remember it's. A person, or a lot of it's people feeling alone, alone, you know, yep. and pulling away. Yeah, yeah. Like even if Etika, if he felt he still had that one person, that could, that could have been enough. And that goes for everybody out there. It's like somebody, somebody cares for you, you know. Even if you yeah. think they don't, you know. Yeah. I think a good way to flip it on its head is um, to to look at the pain you might cause. When, I mean, the I, to, to put it very succinctly. Uh, Rachel had a great quote that she gave me. Um, Suicide doesn't get rid of the pain; it only spreads it to those to everyone who loves you. Yeah, yeah, it's a great. That's a great quote. All right, Ben. Uh, let's move on to some more lighter news. But before that, uh, I want to welcome Riku Sun One to the podcast. What's going on, brother? Oh, Riku's not saying nothing. Hey guys, you know, I can. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can I okay, there you go. Sorry, you I was go. muted. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? No, don't you fucking do it, Manny. <laughs> I hate your impression <laughs> on me. No, <laughs> no, what's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we guys are talking about the Etika stuff. Um, I don't. I think one of you may have caught it. I was actually streaming myself. Yeah, man. And pr prior to me streaming, I was streaming some of that Legend of Heroes, baby. <laughs> so I'm streaming Legend of Heroes, and before I was streaming Legend of Heroes, your boy Jack Move Johnny was streaming. He was streaming some uh, Ease Eight, another Falcom game, and he oh. rated his he rated his people over to my stream. So there, you know, Jack Move Johnny's people were watching my stream, oh. and then I decided to raid and move all of those people that were watching my stream over to this stream. So I think oh. it was like eight people. So yeah, man, appreciate it, brother. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. So I don't I don't know if they know anything about the throwdown. The fact that Jack, they know Jack Move Johnny through the weapon wheel that means that they you know like video game podcasts anyway. So Hopefully, you guys who are watching here right now enjoy the throwdown. Um, Especially the always to be talk about Chinese food. So <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I do want to give yeah. a quick shout out to Jack Move because he actually has it set up so uh, whenever we go live, if he's not streaming, it auto plays. So you know, auto streams mm -hmm. or whatever. So that's really cool. Johnny did that. Yeah, that's cool. Spread, that again, spread that's, the love. Spread the Thanks, love. Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Lorraine was supposed to be here. The manga god. The manga but, uh, god. You mean the former right. manga god? No. Ma mm, Lorraine, where you at? Did you call him? Yeah. Call, huh? The manga fraud, isn't that what you called oh. him? <laughs> yeah. The manga. Lorraine, we calling you out. I want him to get in here because, like I said, both of us were supposed to get in here. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet Twitter PM him again to see where he's at. But yeah. he was oh, supposed to be hopping in here when I hopped in here. Yeah. I but, also. Uh, yeah. I also. Up, want, yeah. I want to give a quick shout out to. Uh, uh, meta, meta, because uh, it's metaphorical. Metaphorical. I'm a fucking idiot. Metaphorical. I want to give a shout out to metaphorical. I was on his podcast last night. Unfortunately, there was a incident where the shit didn't record because Google got to be Google. 
you know um so oh, i was gonna ask you a question about google when is that when is this going down it's apparently gonna go down during the summer October. um adam oh, sent me something okay. that should be a good alternative um okay. but yeah it, but anyway so um metaphoricals podcast is all about comic books and these guys are hardcore they're, they're fucking grading their comics and shit you know gdc Damn. whatever the fuck like the, like it made me feel like a chump you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. Like, but thankfully, you know, I come in with the old school knowledge, you know, so I got that on my side. But like these motherfuckers talking some crazy like, yo, this is graded nine point something. something. like, what the fuck are they talking about? You know, because I don't collect comics. Like I buy comics to read them. I don't give a fuck about collecting them or whatever. You know, I yeah. ne- and Manny, you, you know, like, like even back in the day, we were never about that. We just wanted to buy the books, no. you know. The only, the only, the only reason I bought backboards is so it would last yes. in my bag. Of course. <laughs> oh no, you I know? get that. I would buy my backboards in my my plastic bags and all that. But you know, oh, yeah. like to me, the greatest thing that happened was when they went to um, trade paperbacks. I'm like, oh shit, I could just buy a bunch of them for cheap. And mm-hmm. now I'm like, oh, they got digital. Fuck all that physical stuff. You know. Yeah. So it's all you know, good. It's funny, like, yeah. It's funny because like a lot, a few of the books that I worked on are you know rated like that. With yeah, the, uh, the GDC yeah. rating or what they call it. That's it's cool, man. CGC, excuse me. Yeah, so I, I'll, yeah, I'll try to be on the remake episode of that one, but you know, because again, I I got a lot of shit to write. I got two podcasts. Fourth July is coming, so we'll see what happens. But I'll, if I can't be on for the remake episode, I'll definitely be on again because I like I appreciate the the dedication those guys have to like comic books, real comic books. Too. The episode was about horror comics. Like, who the fuck talks about horror comics? No one talks about that shit. These they're, guys were. So they're that's, a little cool. bit. They're, they're so, a little um, bit of a. Horror comics are a little bit of a you know a lost you know thing, you know. <laughs> Nailbiter yeah. was like the last good series that oh. I read that you was know, over in yeah. uh, Image Comics. You know what, Manny? I'm, I'll let you do this. A metaphorical wants to know what you do, man. Oh, what I do? I'm actually a comic. Uh, well, I work in comics. I've worked as an illustrator, as a colorist. I have a new book out right now called uh, I was going to say Mosaic, hey. but <laughs> <laughs> Excellence by uh, which is coming out through uh, Skybound Entertainment. Which is Robert Kirkman Company, Robert Kirkman's company, the guy who created Walking Dead, and yeah, I'm moving and shaking all over the place, yeah. moving and grooving, as my friends say. Yeah, uh-huh. metaphor, uh-huh. metaphorical wants to know if he could interview you, man. Sure, send me uh, send me an email or you know PM. Yeah, on my, uh, yeah, Twitter. I'll, I'll I'll give you his information. What's going on, Two DX? Uh, my man Jeffrey, way, you already send know. Him a send him a fax. Hey, Larissa right. is having uh, issues joining. Uh, the link that you gave me, Tony, uh, if I sent that to him, yes. he should be able to join through it, right? Yep. Yep. So, yeah, I, I guess that's something he's going to have to figure out. Hold on. Let me, he tried on his computer. Uh, he just has to make sure he's doing it through Chrome. Yeah, don't do it through yeah. Firefox. Yeah, yeah, all the other. And even if it says Internet Explorer, it's still don't, an edge. It don't work. I'm going right. I'm, 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 I'm to send, I'm I'm send the link to just in case. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Google Hangouts is a finicky uh, creature, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get to some news, man. Uh, oh, by the way, shout out to Brian. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Brian sneaking in here, man? Oh, shit, Brian. Yeah, just sneaking in. Why not? <laughs> I thought you were moving. What's going on? Yeah, I am. I'm moving on Saturday. So, last show was like two weeks. Oh, shit. You're going to still be in the same town or are you moving out of town? Oh, same town. Just um, going up north slightly. That's all. It seems okay. like it, it seems like you move every two years. Yeah, <laughs> he gets bored. He gets bored of the scenery. Can't stay still. <laughs> Yo, Brian, yeah, probably, make, probably yeah. that London rant. Yeah, but by the way, Brian, oh. stick around after the show. I got a story for you, man, that I can't say on air, but I told the fellas beforehand. Man, <laughs> okay. Oh man. Also, uh, stick stick around during the show too. Yeah, metaphorical. Go ahead, post the link, man. I'll I'll I'll, I'll allow it because <laughs> I think this thing's gonna automatically not let him post it, but I'll just accept it. So go ahead, try posting your link, man. Um, all right, let's get into it. We got some news. Uh, kind of a slow week, but whatever. By the way, that sounds like a oh, I just arrived type of sigh, man. He just gave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. First, so first up, so Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft are uniting to fight uh, Trump's tariffs. Um, basically, you got you guys know um, Trump's gonna have all these tariffs on like products made outside the U.S. And guess what's made outside the U.S.? Video game consoles. You know, mm-hmm. uh, so them, yeah. So it's kind of cool that they're all uniting to kind of. I don't know what they're gonna do against it exactly, but they're gonna do something. You know, they're like, let's. They're, they're gonna get their combined. lobbyists. They're gonna get their lobbyists to put some pressure on this shit. That's what they're gonna do. That's what they all do. All these big corporations. Yeah. 
So yeah, I just want to go, you know get your thoughts on that. I don't know about any of this trade shit. I, like that's not my wheelhouse. Uh, Chris is really more about that life. Um, but you know, you one know, of one of our insi- yeah, one of our inside jokes is like those consoles will be seven hundred dollars with these fucking mm-hmm. tariffs. You know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean the sad the sad thing about it is that like the, you know doing all this stuff affects gaming. It c- affects most products. You know. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, shit, is that the manga god? It was cool. The <laughs> manga god, a.k.a. the manga fraud. <laughs> Damn, Larry, smoking yeah. you already, bro? What's up? Yo, what's, what's going on, man? Hold on, hold on. I'm stopping the whole show right yeah. now, man. I haven't talked to this motherfucker in a while, man. How you been, Larry? I've been good, man. Living life, you know. Um, you know, doing different jobs here and there. Now working at Amazon full time. So. Oh, shit. Amazon. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you it's move around, bro. Fuck. Last time I talked, I was talking to you. You were working at uh, Nintendo. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I was. Did you get a job at Microsoft at one point? I did. Um, Nintendo, Google, Microsoft, and now Amazon. You a PlayStation next, man. You got to get on the PlayStation. That means I have to move to California, and your boys not yeah. to do that. Uh, Hold on, bro. Don't you just have to fly down like an hour and shit? Aren't you in <laughs> Seattle? <laughs> Like two hours or so. Yeah, man, that ain't nothing. I got. So you got to work on. Yeah, we got Manny over there doing the trek from Philly to New York. Yeah. Damn, so you got to working on your phone, the the Google Chrome. No, the, not yeah, the Google, Chrome, Google Hangouts. This thing yeah, is finicky, as they said. But yeah, at least like, you got here. Some, yeah, for some reason it doesn't work on my laptop at all. It's like this shit is too old. <laughs> yeah, well, they're about to kill this shit. So you know, there you go. Yeah. Um. Anyway, like I said, I'm not a business guy. I don't know about any of this shit. Uh, so I'll let you. Who, anybody who's smarter about this talk about it. Um, Adam, when you go, you know a little bit about yeah, this shit. Well, well, it's basically just that. It's just the taxes, and you start putting that on products that are coming in, and prices have you, to go up. Someone has to pay for it, and usually it's a consumer. You know, so it's funny. They're going to try funny. to avoid that. You know, it's funny because it's like, why don't? Okay, why are they taxing things that are coming in? Why don't they give? Why don't they give more money to to have more products? products created here in the states rather than you know, re- you know rewarding that. them because it costs here. a lot of money to make it shit costs here. a lot because no, you no, still no. got to get the parts and stuff and none of that's even here so yeah, the, uh, apple's tried yeah, exactly apple's tried that with their assembling but it's like all the parts are manufactured all over the world and then when they put it together in one location they'll say it's here in the u.s but all the parts aren't from aren't here in the u.s they're everywhere else so and then you still have to pay for all those parts that come from different areas. And they're still tax. They still have the tariff on them. Yeah, and they yeah. all have the tariff on them, depending the, on where they're coming from. The problem is, and I, I don't even think this is uh, political anymore, as much as just fact. Is Trump does not understand how tariffs work. <laughs> he, <laughs> he genuinely thinks that, like, if we put tariffs on something coming in from China, that China has to pay money to import things. Uh, it's been explained to him over and over and over again that that's not how it works, but he's still under the assumption that that's how it works. Uh, the way that it actually works is that, yeah, again, it's if something comes in for a dollar, it gets tariffs put on it for, let's say, 20 cents. Now we have to buy it for a dollar twenty. It costs the American consumer more, whether it's in part or in whole. So unless we can, uh, you know, even get down to mining rare earth minerals out of Utah, then we're not going to be able to uh, home build anything. My question is, what can these companies of like do against this shit? Cause they're like banding well, together. So well, they're trying to work out some kind of agreement to put an end to this. That's the whole goal. I was like, all right, so how can we stop this? And then just point out the numbers, but like, Hey, listen, next year we're releasing so-and-so amount. This is the profit margin. This is what it's going to impact for retailers and consumers. If the tariff tariffs take effect, they just point down numbers. It's spreadsheets. You know, and hopefully that's enough to just lure the president and his party just be like, hey, you know what? All right, let's let's come up with another solution. Tariffs isn't the way to go. But so we'll have to wait and see. So do we know how much of an increase they're trying to increase all of this stuff by? It said it's a 25% tariff. Yeah, 25%. Jeez. On top of everything, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> on top, that's of yeah, because yeah, because yeah, if you look at what the you know the, PlayStation Five be what five five hundred or something. Well, like that. you know, I'm it's, I'm gonna use like Dominican numbers. <laughs> you know, like uh, let's just, let's just say a console costs four hundred dollars, right? Twenty five percent will be it'll be five hundred dollars. That's it. Yeah. You just have to pay those three all over again. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, uh, pe- people are debating what, what you know what console prices are going to be. It's like, yeah, they're going to be like fucking five hundred, six hundred dollars with these and, tariffs, you know. And that's why all these companies are banding together because they're like, wait a minute, we can't release any new products, and because of all the prices <sighs> increase, it people aren't going to buy it. How are we going to do this? Let's try to squash to see what we can do to get rid of this. Well, first of all, people are definitely going to buy it, but it's uh, definitely going to hurt their sales. Yeah, well, that's the people, thing. It, it, people if are they, gonna buy it. They're going to buy it, but not really buy it because they're going to be like, well, this tax thing can't last forever. This tariff increase. So it's going to buy it. No. If this tax came out it's not going to be permanent. What about you, Tony? Are you going to buy it? Oh, no. $600? I'm not paying the $600 for a concert. I'm crazy. We we know it's temporary. That's the thing. It's not like a permanent. It's not a permanent increase. It's just temporary. So we'll just wait. But, Tony, you get paid to do this stuff for video games. So it's going to affect your. How you do your Yo, bro, you know, for the first two or three years, they're going to have the same games on PS4 anyway, bro. I'm not sweating that shit. And, and you know what? I could just upgrade my fucking, um, you know, fucking uh, graphics card and I'll be all right, you know? I'm not easy. Like, it's the principle of it. I am not paying $600 yeah, yeah, yeah. for no that's, fucking that's, console. That because, is crazy. Uh, let's say, let's you, say know? you go and you pay that, and then the next month, all right, tariffs lifted, there goes that. You're not getting that money back. Yeah, that's You true. just spend the extra, so you just ride it out. Wait. Yeah, this shit ain't gonna pass anyway, though. Trump's being a fucking dummy. Motherfucking Trump. <laughs> As per usual with As him. As usual with <laughs> him. He, this guy talks so much shit, you know? Um, all right. Uh, let's move on here. And Adam, this, you know, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Um, Nintendo addresses many Switch rumors because rumors are flying around. Um, so, Adam, what was going on? What did they say? Because <laughs> the reply was uh, they, interesting. They, yeah, yeah, because uh, they basically came out to address the rumor and says, oh, well, we're always working on new hardware. So Jeez. it's like they're, they're sort of saying yes and not saying anything at all. So um, obviously they're working on it. It's within that time span already. It's over two years the Switch has been out. So they're, they're, they're clearly working on something. They just – and what are the – within that article, that little <laughs> – quote yeah. there they also mentioned that they try to keep these things as a secret because then it you know, adds to the whole presentation yeah. to their fans and you know so they don't want to let out the back oh yeah we are working on it but uh so when we do another direct or whatever there's not really there's no surprise they want the surprise factor and we enjoy it i do that's one surprise thing that i do want not like what ea thinks we want but that's a surprise. <laughs> yeah that's a surprise i do like i like those surprises yeah, you don't like, like surprise duplicates mechanics, fucking FIFA ultimate team no you don't, don't like, like you, you don't like you don't like surprise transactions. No, no, no surprise <laughs> transactions. Nobody likes that. I mean, hell, we the whole point with cell phone companies where they always advertise no hidden fees so because those are surprises. Nobody wants a fucking surprise. Oh shit, five dollar increase. Why? That's a surprise. Yeah. Shit went up in your area. You like it? No, no, man, that's bullshit. Yeah. By the way, this is a uh, thank you, Carlos, for bringing this up. This goes back to our previous topic. Like people are going, "Yo, if these consoles are like six hundred dollars, it's gonna make Stadia really, really uh, appealing." <laughs> you know? Damn it! Please don't do that. I can play this shit on my Pentium Four. Excuse me. <laughs> that's the that's my conspiracy theory. Obviously, by the way, all this shit is happening to push Stadia, man. Yeah, oh God. Obviously, you know, here's the thing. Obviously, tariffs don't exist on games that are not made in the states. You know, like you know, just the file. Hardware. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just the hardware. Yeah, it's all hardware. It's not digital. That's the other thing. Mm-hmm. It's not applying to to. Yeah, so you know, so, may, so maybe Google's pulling some shit. I'm I'm being conspiratorial right now, but well, um, no, even go ahead, here's Brett. The thing that you're not thinking about Tony, like PCs cost twenty five percent more now too. Oh shit, that's right. That is true. Oh damn! I'm telling and you, this everything. is everything. Yeah, it's gonna trickle it, down everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it, say it that affects, it, it's a, it yeah, affects every single. Mm-hmm. It affects every single product that we get here in the states. From yeah. DVDs to uh, you know video game, you know Apple. consoles, everything, yeah, everything, yeah. even even friggin' bullshit stuff like welcome mats. That'll be affected <laughs> because those shits are not even made here in the states either. What the uh-huh. fuck do we make? Movies. Yeah. And that's paper clips before, <laughs> and even certain things to say made in America. Okay, it's assembled here. Where are the, all the components yeah. coming from? Well, we yeah, like them cars, from, uh, cars, cars come coming from China. We get all, but it's all put together here. It's like that's great, but the, it's cars still going to be impacted. Cars are cars like uh, cars are you know are, are, are an yeah. example of that. They're oh, just yeah. built here. They're not you know they're, they're not manu- All the parts aren't manufactured here. Cool. Also. Tony, the thing you're you're forgetting is uh, cryptocurrency has driven up the price of processors significantly. Crypto mining. Yes, that's right. Damn. So even PC gaming is inviolable. You know, with all this no, shit going PC on. PC gaming got hit double. 
Fuck. I think twice on this. PCs have actually gone up significantly in cost. PC yeah. right after race, baby. <laughs> right, shit, <laughs> man. Hey, I guess you're gonna have to pay uh, six hundred dollars for a console now. Fuck. That is crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, Switch Mini, we already know it's coming, people. You know that shit's coming. Either a Switch Mini or a I'll different actually buy one. Even if it's not a Switch Mini, it'll be a, a, a different Switch iteration. No, they they uh, do this my... all the time. Okay, and this is something that I brought up before. I was telling some people. I don't know if I said it here, but all right. So they say it's going to be mini, and yeah, they can shrink it down, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be small. They can increase the screen size if they get rid of the bezel and then make everything else smaller if it's not detachable Joy-Cons. So yeah. it could still be smaller with a larger screen. If that came into play, that that would be enticing. I would go for something like that. Joy-Con. Yeah. Joy-Con boy. Yeah, shout out to Etika. Joy-Con, boys. Right, right, Joy-Con, Joy -Con boys. boys. Yeah. You mm. know shit, man. Um, but again, we don't really know the form this is going to take, but we all know a different iteration is coming. Nintendo always mm -hmm. does this shit. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Gotta nothing new. Got to have something. It's nothing new. I don't know why people are always so surprised. I mean. It you always know. worked. Remember the new one with the new 3DS that had the yeah, nub? Man. Yep. You know, and now it's the same uh, thing. Here's, here's, a question, here's a good question. Has there been a Nintendo handheld that hasn't gotten a second iteration? I don't think so. No, no, there aren't. No. They uh, all get them. The virtual it's boy. The virtual boy. <laughs> that, that wasn't a handheld. Right. That wasn't a handheld, though. No. Yeah, it's a handheld. I think every single handheld they've ever created has had a, a second iteration. Well, everything after the Game Boy, because I know there was like one that came out before the Game Boy that looked like a Nintendo DS. But the, is, but the thing but the thing is, for this though, this is also a home console. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. it still it, it still did combine their handheld and their mm -hmm. you know console market into one. So the handheld side of it is like, all right, we need that second iteration, baby. So yeah. now we're here. Like I could also see them removing the dock for this one. Just so you think so? Price. Yeah, I think so. Just yeah. reduce the price. If, if, if like, it's hey, a mini one, yeah, I see it. Wait. Think about that separate. This is oh, more buy it separately. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking you meant just like remove no, the dock no, completely. No, like, no, no. Just remove the whole idea of being a say, switch. Yeah. Exactly. I was gonna say, what yeah, the fuck? No, they yeah, can't. Yeah, do that. And now that the switch is like super popular and selling well, it's better to sell them without the dock because they overpriced that shit. Like, what is it? Eighty bucks for that freaking yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, you know what they'll do? They'll make the Switch Ultra Dock. Oh shit! Right, <laughs> Ultra Dock. Yo, I mean that's the thing though, because you remember the Switch, uh, the Nintendo. What was it? The 3DS didn't come with a power cable, so it wouldn't yeah. be the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ex accessories. So crazy. I love the Ultra Dock. I like, I like Manny's idea. Yeah, the Ultra Dock. Mm -hmm. Ultra Dock. What are you saying? Knowing Nintendo's history, it's gonna be a clamshell. I could see that. Mm, I could see that. I like a clam shell. That Wait, would be a, crazy. A clam shell switch? Yep. Oh, really? I don't know. They they I walked away from that when they did when they did the the 2DS. Remember they tried to do the the wide the 2DS. one. 2DS. Yeah, it's like wait, that uh, doesn't even make any sense. The non clam. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying if they if they uh, did what you said like Screen size bigger, uh, reduce the overall size, made Joy Cons non detachable, threw a clamshell on the thing so you could just toss it in your bag, boom, switch. Switch portable or whatever. Switch go. But you can't switch oh, anymore. Switch go? Yeah, you can't switch. If you redesign the dock to pretty much, it just it just needs to be open faced. Like you could have the clamshell be the other side of, of the quote unquote dock. You don't need to slide. I don't know why you, you have to slide the switch in between two. Like you could literally saw off the front part of the dock and just set it on the connector, and it works fine. So I guess the dock has two sides. For in case you live in an earthquake-prone zone, that it can't like shake it out of the dock or something. I don't really understand why it needs to be there. I've seen people make homemade docks that are about the size of um, a half half of a dollar bill or so. And this way, it just has a little groove in the connector bits that lead into the back and just set the switch on it. Kind of the same way most of us charge our PlayStation controllers. Yo, Adam, what you drop, son? Oh, fuck, I got a cable over here. <laughs> I thought you dropped your switch, man. That would have been... Uh, no, 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 I got this cable over here. Hold Are on. you ever going to tell us what you're drinking? Uh, nope. Man... He's trying to no, he's trying to give himself an excuse to get that switch mini baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop this real quick. Oh, oh, looks like I need to get that switch mini. Man, he's probably like, drinking some wine right now. He probably he's singing if you like pina colada. <laughs> Adam's not a wine guy. Hey man, that stuff is good. Pina coladas, man. <laughs> give, me, give me two of them. Like right for, now, man. For those the for those that coming. have switches. Yeah. For those that have switches, um, 
Would would any of you buy a, a Switch Mini? Fuck no. I <laughs> 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 What I, if it's the Switch Pro? I barely use the <laughs> shit I got now, bro. <laughs> Fuck it, do I need another Switch for? Yo, man, it's smaller. Fuck that. For, for, smaller like for what? You know, I only play it docked anyway, you know? Have you ever played any of your games fully handheld? No, but I, I've only played handheld, you know, for reviews just to test it out. But, like, for my own enjoyment, I've never played a game handheld. Why would I do that when I got a TV right there, you know? I started playing uh, Super... Uh, Super Mario Odyssey handheld. That shit made me dizzy, man. Yeah. Also, Riku, the fact is the Joy Cons suck. You know, that's yeah, the, the other problem. Good, yeah. yeah. You were going to ask me something uh, a moment ago, Tony? Oh, yeah. Me? No, I was going to ask you. So, what are we going to call the Switch Mini? The itch if you can't switch it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, um, What's up? The Switch Up. The Switch Up? But but the, but you can't switch it up because like if it, you could that's, only have it in handheld mode, the th- then it's not switching switch anymore. You know that's the switch up. They're switching it up, but you're not allowing you to switch it. <laughs> okay, oh, fair geez. enough. <laughs> Here's my big question for the handheld only mode: What do you have to take out for it to be handheld only? You don't have you don't take much out of the system itself. You're not going to save a shitload of money by making it handheld. What? All it, well, you're, gonna, you're only gonna save money by not selling the dock with it. Yeah, sure. that's a, yeah. Because I'm guessing that's if it's if it. yeah if it's handheld only, I'm guessing the Joy Cons will just be attached to it permanently. I guess that that's what will make it handheld. It's weird, you know. Yeah, I, no, mean, it, it, I mean, the thing the thing about it is like <clears> all the switch <throat> is is just a, a screen that has a you know a removable controllers on it, right? Yeah. I all I mean a lot of different things have you know done similar stuff where like in other words you could. You can stick your like a phone into a television, and that's all it is. It's just it's just a fancy way of sticking your your switch into a you know connecting your switch to a, uh, a television. Like sometimes, and you know, some of them just use a cable, and that's all it is. I mean, because that dock they've said it doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, Brett, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say if they, I could see them selling it separately from the dock. I don't think that they'll ever make a switch that doesn't have the ability to be played on a tv oh i agree with that yeah i, th- I think you start yeah. splitting their audience yeah yeah no i agree with that i like if you have a quote-unquote switch mini where that has the joy cons locked in i'm pretty sure you can still put it in a dock you know that would be yeah, that would be retarded i yeah. would say it'd be kind of cool if they did a <laughs> did a, a pro well, dock i don't i don't know about that like if they like, make in other if, words, a, a dock that is able to run, the, you know, give give an actual boost to the switch when it, when playing games. Ah, supposedly that's what the dock does now. No, it <laughs> doesn't. It, yeah, it's, I guess supposed, it, it's supposed to push it at 1080p because uh, it when doesn't. It's not it doesn't. 70. It doesn't have anything in it. The only reason why it, it it pushes it to that because it's actually being plugged into something. Yeah, it's a, yeah. a direct I power. That, yeah, it's, it's I think it's power an source. internal. Yeah, it's an internal thing that is, once you plug it in the. The switch is being told to, you know, just run at a better performance and not getting any boost from the dock. I have a question though. If they make a switch mini, how is it gonna fit on the on the regular size dock? They're gonna have to make a mini dock. You gotta get the mini yeah. dock. <laughs> you <gotta get> mini <laughs> dock. You, you gotta mini charge dock. ninety bucks for that shit, man. You know, yeah. yeah. It'll all be six hundred dollars. Shit, Apple. Always <laughs> go with their do and it. then with that tax, it's gonna be seven hundred dollars. Man. Oh God damn! <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. that's depressing. All right, man, let's move on. Um, this is really weird. So, Final Fantasy fourteen, the video game, is being turned into a live action TV show. What? I um, I, what, like, I I did not stutter. <laughs> like this kind of like happened before with the um, Final Fantasy fourteen, Daddy's Light, or something like that on Netflix. There's already like a TV show where this kid trying to connect to his dad by playing Final Fantasy 14 with him, with his avatar, where his dad knowing it. What? So it's him building a relationship with his dad by helping him up playing the game where I am knowing. So yeah, it's on Netflix. It's called Final Fantasy Daddy's Light or something like that. Wow. But yeah, is, that, yeah. is that like a real thing or is it a... It's a real ass thing. This is already <laughs> happened. I don't know why like people are freaking out about Final Fantasy 14 having a live action thing where... There's like this live action drama surrounded by the game, but I think the only thing that's different is that this takes place in the actual world for yeah. it to be live action. So mm-hmm. yeah. if I, if I, this, 
this is not out of Square Enix's realm. You know, they have TV. I mean, they did try to make that seven movie back in the day. No, well, that, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you bring it up because well, people forgot about the, yeah. the spirits no, within. Like spirits yeah, within, it's a thing. Exactly. They tried this because basically some people are saying like, oh, you know, they made a, a, a movie studio for this. This is serious. I'm like, they made a movie studio before, and you saw how that went. You know, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, and spirits within, not Advent Children. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for making that distinction. Advent Children, awesome. Spirits Within sucked. No, and when we got Spirits Within, I just want to share, somebody who lived through this, they told us we were getting a Final Fantasy movie. They told us they were gonna, it was going to be like one big cinematic. They showed us teasers. They showed us trailers. It looked amazing. It looked like Final Fantasy. We go in. I don't know what the fuck that movie was. It is not Final Fantasy. It has nothing to do with any Final Fantasy. It does not feel like Final Fantasy. It is a jumbled, weird mess. And you walk out being like, I mean, it's like people are going to be like, I'm going to go see a Star Wars movie. And then seeing a movie with no spaceships, no Sith, no lightsabers, <laughs> uh, no Wookiees, and no... Did, uh, they did had they the live a... stream. <laughs> did they have a guy? The, yeah, they had them. the live stream. That's right. I remember. Okay, funny thing, because when I first saw the movie in the theaters, I, we, me and Manny saw it. I was just like impressed by the technical, you know, the technicalness of it. But then I remember, you know, like maybe a year later, it was playing. You know, I was in Manny's house. They were playing in the background. I'm like, oh, that's why this movie bombed. Dude, look at all this fucking talking. <laughs> you know, like do something. Yeah, yeah that Yo, movie sucked. Didn't they have a guy named Sid in it? Uh, yeah, probably. Yes. And this show's going to have Sid in it as well. <laughs> so they're basing it off of MMORPG? Uh, yeah. I think, and Brett, I, I think I can speak for you too. As guys, you know, disgruntled guys that are still bitter about Spurs Within, yeah, we're not, we're not really, we're not really hyped about this. No. Fuck this shit, man. Um, It's like making, well, granted, uh, Warcraft is a lot of, I don't know. I made oh. a, they got a movie out of that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that movie made a lot of money in China. Uh, of course, China, as long man. As it does well in China, they good. Yeah, that's that's a problem nowadays with cinema in general. You know, China loved Aquaman. Damn, Aquaman was fun though. Hey, yeah, but it wasn't that fun. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the yeah, second coming of movies. Uh, Aquaman was a stupid movie, but I loved it. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, is anybody hyped for this? <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wary of it. I'm gonna anticipate it, look out for it, and see how it goes. I'm yeah. just gonna watch one episode and see how I feel. Oh shit! Hey, Lurie, check this out. This article that I, I'm looking at here, it actually does mention uh, Dad of Light on Netflix. Yes. Yeah, there you yes. go. Not Daddy Sight. That shit sounds like like something else. <laughs> that's a different type. Hey, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's not inappropriate as hell. That's 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 on Pornhub right there. Daddy's Light, baby. <laughs> hey yo, that's why it was originally called until they changed the name because people always sexualized Daddy. So, well, I mean, we came to that conclusion, so they were smart for changing it. Exactly. Yeah. They're like, oh shit, the American people go fuck this up. <laughs> we fucked it up in a couple of seconds as soon as we heard that shit. Well, that's so why. Right about that. Yeah, by the way, here's some video game history. That's why Pac Man is called Pac Man because originally yeah. he was supposed to be Puck Man, oh, yeah. but did you, yeah. you know, yeah. the guys were like, oh, the Americans are going to say something else, aren't they? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> we, messed, we messed everything up for everyone. You know? Uh, so, yeah, we'll see about this, but I, I'm, I'm, whatever. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Um, all right, okay. Story time, people. I got to tell you guys about my experience at Mash Fest, man. So, for you guys who don't know, Mash Fest is basically like a fighting game tournament type of thing that that was held here in New York. I don't know if they do it in any other cities, but it was held here in New York on Tuesday, and they were celebrating the launch of Samurai Showdown, which is you know the new version of Samurai Showdown. So there was a bunch. It was basically at a bar, um, downtown, um up close by canal street so it was you know like it was kind of weird because like on in the middle you had the you know the bar the stools and all that and regular patrons and then around it tv screens with a bunch of crazy ass fgc heads you know so we go in there it was me jeffrey a couple other people you know and they were having a samurai showdown tournament and i was like you know what fuck it i'm gonna enter a tournament your boy you know so let me tell you some. Yeah. So I go in there, go, like I was just like, okay, yo, if Where's I could, belt? yeah. What happened, Brett? Where's the belt? Where's the belt? Yeah, well, I'll get to that. You know, so, nobody. So I go in there. I'm like, all right, if I could make it past the first round, bro, I'll be, I'll be happy. I made it a little further than that. <laughs> so, I'll, and I'll tell you about each round. So first round, 
I'm just gonna say the story like I told you guys off air. Fuck it. I'm gonna say it. So I get so the guy I was supposed to go up against, he was late. You know, so I'm like, yo, this guy must be like badass, bro. Like he, you know, they're waiting for him to show up, you know. Dude rolls up, not a care in the world. He's chilling. He's like, hey, man, well, how you doing, man? You want me to get your water? I'm going to give me some water. I'm like, okay, I'll take some water. I'm like, yo, this guy's going to smoke the fuck out of me right now, son. <laughs> you know, he's going to beat my motherfucking ass. You over here about to give you a water? Like, he's about to <laughs> roast you? Yeah. 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 You're going to need this water real quick. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, yo, this guy's going to smoke the fuck out of me, right? So, you know, we get there. We start playing. Yo, literally three seconds into the fight. Yo, how you play this shit? <laughs> I was like, what? So I'm teaching them how to use the fucking buttons and shit, right? What the attacks do. So I'm just like, okay, I don't really need to go too crazy on them, you know, but I'm beating them. And then at the end, I'm like, all right, fuck this shit. I get a perfect on them. So I'm like, yeah, man, it's fucking go, son. And then on the second round, I had to fight my boy Jeffrey Wilson, man, you know? So that was kind of fun. He's he's old school Sam Show like wait, me, wait, right? Wait, 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 so, <laughs> wait. Rewind. So yeah. after you, you beat him, what was his response? Did he say you want another water? Or no, he was like, he was like, hey man, it was it, he mad low. He was like, hey, you thank you, man. Here. Like I, this guy seemed kind of drugged or something. I don't know, but yeah. he was like, hey man, it was good, good going up against you. Good games of blood, right? So next, we'll, I we'll probably want to go get himself another water. You know? <laughs> so, he's ten dollars. He's yeah. like, wait, I wanted to say this before. He's like, yo man, you are gonna need this water for my fire. <laughs> <laughs> So in the Dude, sec- I, I, like, I like to think that he was done. They like calmly walk back, walk through a curtain into a dark shadow room. Went, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, for the next round, I went up against my friend Jeffrey. Now Jeffrey, uh, we we were playing the game before the tournament started, right? And him and I were on equal footing, so we went the full because it was best two out of three, right? We went the full three rounds up to the minute. Ooh, and I and I just barely got him, but that was a good fight. You know, a worthy opponent. Then on the third round, so I'm, I was already guessing, like, yo, I made it to round three, motherfuckers, you know, because everybody else in my group got smoked during either the first or second round, right? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. So next up, I had to fight this guy called Sonic Soul. I'm like, oh, shit. Now, for you guys who don't know, and I met him, like, beforehand, you know, during the thing, Sonic Soul is a, he's a professional streamer, right? He's he's getting up there, and he his game is Samurai Showdown. Now, before, you know, we, we went up against each other, like, you know, I saw him fight other guys, I'm like, yo, this guy's fucking nasty. Um, so we, you know, we were paired up and did we were he, talking and stuff. that pro look where he's playing. He looks at you, sees your wants, and gives that little wing. Like, yeah. He's like, yo, why did yeah. why did he butt this ass? Yeah, oh. no, but I told him, like, yo, bro, don't hold back. I want you to, like, you know, like, unleash, you know, uh, like, open up all the chakra gates. I, I you know, give me all <laughs> that shit. You Unlock know? all the souls <laughs> of Sonic that you got. Yeah, but yeah. The, yeah. you went, show your boobs. Yeah, but he was really cool. He was like, he was like giving me some pointers before we got in there, and then people were like, "Yo, uh, you guys mind if we stream this shit?" Now all my friends were like, "Oh shit, they're gonna stream you getting your ass beat, Tony," you know. And and Manny, you know me, I'm like, okay, cool, <laughs> like whatever, who cares, you know? Yeah, be- they're they're trying to rile you up. They're like, yo, yeah, you should have, yo. Yo, to sh- shake him, man, out of his confidence, you should have said, like, you want some water? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, I stream two times a week. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. You know, so we go in there. He's he's working me, son. Like I'm like, okay, I got I know I got no shot here, but because things about Samurai Showdown, it's not really about uh, combos and shit. It's really about finding the perfect timing. So when I you know I calmed down and I just struck him whenever I could. Obviously, he ended up winning. Shit, like killed me with finesse, but. He had to work for it a little bit, not not too much, but a little something. So I'm like, okay, I give him a little bit of resistance. So I felt happy about that. I got my ass beat by a pro streamer, really cool guy. And wink, wink, uh, we're probably gonna have him on Throwdown in the future. Him, we, him and I hit it off, man. Mad cool dude. So I, you know, I got my ass beat. Went to go drinking shit, chilling, and then it was like. 10 o'clock 10 30 i'm like yo trains are gonna start running all fucked up let me get out of here and then the the organizer's like yo where you going bro you're in the losers bracket i'm like word like i still get to play shit because all my boys already got eliminated so i re- i already felt a little bit even more gas i'm like damn I, I made it pretty far uh now granted i did lose the losers bracket but it was by an inch it was by a hair son and i think i may have kind of partial because i wanted to get the fuck out of there but that dude, I, I gave him some work. He went to all, all, all three rounds. So basically, um, the reason I want to tell you a story, not only because it was a fun experience, because I have, because I, you know, I'm being honest, I've kind of railed against the FGC for a while. I felt like they kind of ruined fighting games, but 
seeing these guys makes me appreciate the FGC. Really cool gamers, really cool people. You know, they they're not these fucking assholes you see on Twitter all day. You know, uh, so that was that kind of gave me more hope for the gaming community as a whole. It's like, okay, all these motherfuckers aren't pieces of shit. You know, so that was that was pretty cool. And you know, I'm they're, they're I'm not like what's your main. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. By the way, um. <laughs> you showed and proof. Thank you, uh, Jeff. Yeah, he's he's right there in the in the chat, man. Um, Sonic Soul is a beast. He finished fifth last night at Next Level in Brooklyn out of forty heads. Damn. Yeah. So so yeah. See me losing to a guy like that. Pff, I got no fucking problems with that, man. You know. So that that was really fun. You know. There's a, you know. It's always fun to go to events like that that are like more gamer focused instead of like industry focused because the industry is just full of cynical assholes. You know and you kind of forget what the you know what, what game is supposed to be about. Um, had a good time. So there's also some other things happen, but I'm not gonna tell you that shit on air. Jeffrey, you know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> oh man, it, it, oh man. So yeah, good times, bro. Anyway, so that's that. So we're since we got everybody here, um, and we still got time. What has everybody been playing lately? So let's start with our guest, Riku. What have you been playing lately, sir? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can hear me, right? Just make sure you can hear me before I go off. Yeah. Oh lord. You're gonna, you're gonna put Adam to yeah. shame because Adam's you when know, we tell him what he's been playing, he's here for half an hour talking. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I've been actually been trying to focus my my gaming habits because honestly, a a couple months past, I've been actually juggling a lot of shit, but now I'm bringing it back down to like one game and beat it and move on. But uh, right now, I'm playing that Legend of Heroes. And it's a uh, lit. I was streaming earlier, like I said, and moved to uh, move all of the streamers over to here. Honestly, that game is probably my second favorite JRPG game now. Damn! Like I like this, I like this game more than fucking Chrono Trigger. That's how fucking mm -hmm. great this game. That sounds that sounds lit. like blasphemy to me. <laughs> I fight words. Mm. That's what a lot of people say. Ah, I, I kill you. Like the guy that drew my uh my 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 picture, James. Man, he came. He's like, square the fuck up. How dare you say it's better than Chrono Trigger? Like, damn, calm down. Anyway. Yeah, well, you, but, you, uh, better, you better watch out. The next picture you get from him, you're gonna look all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gonna draw my nose funny or some shit? Give me fat lips or some shit, man. He gonna fuck my shit up. But uh. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna draw you like a black anime character, bro. Oh, no. Big ass lips. You gonna you gonna put a little mini chocobo on my head and shit? Oh no! But uh, uh on my Vita, cause you know Vita's life, baby. You know I Yo, still man. play my Vita. And uh, what I've been trying to do with the Vita lately is, um, you know how the 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 3DS has got a decent amount of Nintendo 64 ports. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Ocarina of Time, Mario 64. And the Vita got a decent amount of uh, PlayStation 2 ports. Like, you know, the God of War collection, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Sly, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, you're right. Um, and I was just trying to, I was just trying to uh, test out some of them to see how good these ports were on the Vita. I tried out um, Ratchet and Clank. That was a very good one. But um, the problem with that one is the fact that it uses the rear touch panel for R2 and L2. Mm -hmm. So it's not ideal. You need like a specific like type of handle if you want to play that perfectly. So the Sly one was great. And the one that I'm working on right now is a Jack and Daxter. And oof, man, this one's rough. This one is a really rough part. I don't know what they were trying. It was really sluggish and whatnot, but Yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a very well one. Okay. Yeah, I think out of out of the three, this is probably this is not even probably this is definitely the worst port of the three of those Damn. games on the Vita. But I'm gonna I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna get the platinum on all three of them and, and knock that out. Um, but yeah, I'm do just, they I'm have, just go ahead. do they have um, cross saves? No, the, no, no, no. The PS4 no or the, or the yeah, Cause yeah. Because some of them, some of them actually do have uh, cross saves, and you you actually can get double the <laughs> a double uh, platinum. I think that games. was a uh, Sly Four Thieves in Time. That, was mm. that, but I think the PS, you know, these PS2 ports. That's not the case. But I'm just, I was just trying to see how all of these PS2 ports run on here, and some of them are great. Some of them, I'm, I'm gonna try the God of War collection next. God, I think it was like God of War One, Two, Ghost of Sparta, and Chains of Olympus came. Yep. I'm trying to see. I know Chains of Olympus and uh, Ghost of Sparta are gonna work easily because those are mm -hmm. PSP games. But God of War One and Two are the ones that I'm. I'm I'm really interested to see how they run on this thing, but um, yeah. After that, uh, I'm gonna be playing some Xeno Gears next month, people, for the first time. Xeno yeah, Gears, yeah, Xeno Gears. A lot of people 
swear by Xenogears. You know so what? I sold it... that game. I, I thought Damn. that game was trash. <laughs> he said it, people, not me. Yeah. You know, I gave I, you some I, Chrono Trigger, I, I ain't saying nothing about no Xenogears. I did, not, I did not like that game, man. When I first played it, it was just like, this is garbage. So, so what you're trying to tell me, Manny, is that it 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 doesn't start off at a, at a good start to you in your opinion? No, it started off, but it just kind of like. Don't get me started on that third disc. Okay. All right. All right. We'll right. that for another day. We'll that he says Zeno Gears is overrated. Damn. All right. Yeah, well, I will I'm, be streaming I'm, that. I will be streaming that next month. I'll see how <laughs> I like it. And you know, if I like 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 tonight, if you know, I got any people inside here and our our streams coincide, I'll I'll rate them over here and all that other good shit. I mean, yeah, you know, it's uh, like you know, uh, I, I'm probably like the only person on the planet that thinks this, but yeah, yeah, you're the only person I've ever heard that say that. Yeah, I didn't like that. They game. did not like Zeno. I mean, I've heard stuff about that last disc, but. A lot of mm. people was like, "Oh, it's it's you know probably the only con that I can think of." I'm like, "Geez, really?" No, okay. it, it, it can It kind There's of. There's a few of them meh. that you can yeah. think of. It's okay. kind of mad. I'll, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk that's to you me. about that. You, me, you'll uh, be like later. You'll be like, "Man, this game was fire. You you crazy? Yeah, I mean, you crazy, man. You crazy once again. No, I'm a, I'm gonna talk to you about it when I when I knock that out. And anyone else here plays in the games, or is, is it just many? Um, I played a little bit of it. Tony, you fight no, I, 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 I never played. Too. Yeah, remember, I, I didn't play RPGs back then, man. Yeah, back back yeah. in PlayStation oh, One, yeah, he didn't play RPGs. Well, Here's yeah, a question, I mean, Tony: If Xenogears came out with a remake, would you play it? Probably. Yeah, probably. I right. want them. To, I want them to remake it, make it better. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. If it came <laughs> back, and uh, I know a lot of people said if they if Xenogears came back, they wanted it to look like how Octopath looks now. And then obviously fix up whatever the what was the problem with that uh third is. I heard that I had something to do with Final Fantasy VIII taking its like people yeah. and money or shit like that. But uh yeah. Anyway, what else you've been playing, man? Uh just just that. Just Legend of Heroes and Jack on Jack on the Vita. Just those two things I'm focusing on. Really? I, I just planned on Dead Nation on the Vita two days ago though. I remember so that game. Like yeah, Dead Nation is fun. Dead Nation is fun. I want to try the the game they made out after after what was that one called alienation like, or yeah yeah man. no 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 no, no not no. alienation I, uh, I know what you're talking about yeah, yeah yeah it was that other futuristic looking one yeah i want to try that one out yeah right. no, it's funny yeah. you said dead, dead nation because dead nation on Vito did not run very well really i guess they, they, I they, guess they put they, it on plus it was one of the free games after a while so you just it, it, maybe, it felt maybe like they, it was running maybe, pretty, maybe, i think they, they passed some yeah, yeah they probably patched up but when it first came out that thing was not running good yeah, house, I, I, house marquee, right? That made that. Yeah, house mark. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, Lorray, man, what you been playing lately, bro? Uh, Riku knows what I've been playing lately. Oh um, lord. Um, <laughs> uh, I've just been playing NBA Two K mostly. You know, I. I don't know, man. I've oh, oh, wait, quick, have you seen those ads? Have you been seeing ads? Oh yes, that's. What's so up with the ads? What's up yes. with the ads? So first, I think they want to capitalize on the people that bought the game for like two dollars. But something. those get... are mature rated ads. It's like for some like oh, TV some TV porn TV. Hub shit. Yeah, yeah what the some fuck? serious. Yeah, they put these ads and you can't skip the ads, and they're in that the. Pit, it, that pissed me off. Man. I could not like, believe I that shit. I paid sixty dollars for this game just for it to do that. I found a workaround. Fun. I found a workaround. What is it? My workaround because I also have it on the Switch, and I noticed when I because I picked up for PS4 and the Switch at that price, and I noticed on the Switch, I was like, "Yo, I'm not seeing any of this." Mm-hmm. The thing is, I'm not online. When you're not connected online, then I, it can't ping the server and it can't connect and stream the video because the video that, is not loaded in. That's cool and all, but like sometimes they won't even let you. Some features are not available if you're not connected online. Like oh yeah, well yeah, if you're playing online, so but yeah, if I can't no. Like even single player, like for example, mm. like if you had like a creative player or something like that, you can't oh. access that um that player because I just do one on one matches and, and some uh blacktop and stuff. See, see, I like to do I like to do like my creative player, okay. give me the virtual currency because you in order to earn the virtual currency, you have to be connected online twenty four seven. Oh, microtransactions. Excuse me. So that's all you've been playing, man. Uh, Ray, <clears throat> yeah, I think he cut out. Yeah, you know, he muted himself. Oh, probably hit the bump. Maybe, his, yeah, maybe his girls yelling at him in the background. Why are you talking so loud? Are you talking so loud? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Yo, Ray, man, what's up? 
Hello? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got I got a call about that. Someone oh, you got to go? In the of this. No, no, no. Someone no. called me in the middle of this. Oh, shit. Um, but, like, um, yeah, anyways, that was that's the whole NBA thing. I've been playing that. I've been loving it. Riku makes fun of me every single time. Me playing it, that's my game. That I come home, shut my mind off, and play it. But after watching E3 um, and seeing the Final Fantasy VII remake trailer, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII again. Oh shit! Oh. Yes, yes, and like, oh my goodness, that game does not hold your hand. I'm like, where the f- I'm supposed to go? That's fine. Go to Game yeah, Facts, yeah, yeah, man. Fine. Go to Game Facts, bro. Yo, man, <laughs> yo, man. I got a, I got a, tw- I got an over twenty year old strategy guide that'll help you. <laughs> hey, man, that's fine. That it doesn't hold my hand, but like, once you like used to games, you know, guiding you along the way, it's like so hard to get readjusted to that. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Nowadays they'll throw you a thousand tutorials. Hey, did you know you could go that way? <laughs> yes. Shit, do you remember when you called up a number and actually spoke to a real person? Oh, yeah. The, and they the, would the, look the that Nintendo shit up. Yeah. yeah. There was a few of them. I remember calling. We, call, we called the Nintendo one. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And, I, and I called the Sierra one for help on Willie Beamish and um, uh, Rise of the Dragon. <laughs> you know what would be cool? I want to own one of those manuals that tells them from the you know the script basically. Because if you guys don't know, when you call a hotline, they read all that shit off a script, and it's these giant fucking books. Like I would mm-hmm. love to have one of those, man. Oh man, that shit sure. is crazy. Anyway, Ray, what else have you been playing, bro? Um, so it's only those two games, but I'm thinking about going back to The Walking Dead, um, the final season since they finally released the final episode, so I could finish it. So I mm-hmm. put that on the shelf for a bit, but I'm about to go back in on that. Um, Life is Strange 2 is on sale, so I'm about to go and buy that and start playing that. Life so. is Stranger. <laughs> yeah. The first one was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. What I about the play, second one? I didn't play... Well, there was the prequel. They did the prequel, and I, I played that. But then, did you play uh, the one with the little boy, the little spin-off episode that I, they gave you for free? I did not. Oh, not oh um, Captain something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That ties in to... It does, Captain yeah. Future or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm still playing the prequel, so I need to uh, finish the prequel. Then play that um, that yeah. demo when you play as that little kid. Then you play, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna play season two. So yeah, adv- I'm gonna be diving yeah. deep in those games. Yeah, the right. awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. There you go. All right, um, Manny, what have you been playing lately? What is a man? <laughs> a miserable pile of secrets. I've been playing Bloodstain. Well, Damn. where I can. Because I, I've been I'm, I've been Star Trekking back to New York and stuff, so. But I plan to play and you know play here and there and on the weekend. Nice, right, um, Adam? Shit, here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, my friend Pedro, you know that after I did that review, man, can't stop playing it. Yo, man, yo, man, your, your friend Pedro. Where, my friend Pedro, <laughs> love that game. Um, Devil May Cry on the Switch. That was a really wait, good port. Wait, is my friend Pedro the one with the banana? Yeah, he has a friend. It's a imaginary friend that's a banana. He's a Latin you're king. Not a, He's yeah, a Latin you're not a banana. King. Yeah, you're what not the a hell banana. are you playing, man? Get out of it. Oh, it's badass. That no, is that, like elevator they, action meets Max Payne. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, the kids. I've the never cat- actually looked up any gameplay of this. My friend is Pedro. Yeah, yeah. You got it. The that, game is kind of awesome. Like that he's like game flipping is out all over the place, like double you, shooting you can, everybody. And you can dodge bullets. He does a three sixty spin. You can go and you can dual wield. Where are you playing this different game? directions? It's on Switch. It, on Switch and on PC, whichever one. But it's not on uh, the consoles yet. The big ones. Uh, what else? Oh, um, hacked uh, my Vita and I put a. Uh, uh, mm. Retro Arch on this. I'm playing some yeah. Turtles, in Turtles in Time. Time, man. Yeah, Turtles in Time. Getting hyped for that uh, arcade one up machine to come. All, all so, of these parts are Adam. Retro Arch actually runs really well on Throwdown. Already. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Wait, what? What did I call this thing? We do not condone any. Oh, of- <laughs> we do not condone. Hey, I avoided my own warranty and they don't even support the shit anymore. So I could do whatever the hell I want with it. Mm. They, they gave that shit up. So whatever. It's my toy. I get to play with it. <laughs> uh, right. Been playing like he said, uh, two uh, two K nineteen, watching those funky ads. I can't hey, believe we, I don't remember. We, we want to see if I can match between uh, you two. Damn, I, 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 K player in here. I, 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 well, he puts in more time. 
I I used to spend a lot of time on NBA Live. What you trying to say? You saying you can't beat him, man? I got I got to practice. I got to practice. I got to practice, and then we'll set it up. Now what you trying to say? You trying to say if you got some practice, you (laughs) have to practice. Hey man, it's not worth the time, man. Oh shit! No, no, it's not because you're bad or anything. It's not worth the time because like the net code for that game is so horrible. Like it's the lag. Oh, oh, I didn't even try to play online. It's so hard. The the 2K servers have been shit forever. Yes, that's why I don't even bother to play online. That's why why I only Damn. play single player. Like, you know how like, you know how immediate your moves are in that game. So mm-hmm. you have to know what you're doing, and you can't compensate by lag because by the time you try to compensate by lag, you're already out of bounds. You already turned over the ball. Shit. Damn. So, see, uh, playing that, playing FIFA, FIFA 19, been doing a lot of that. Ooh, that's always I'm fun. A- I'm a god at FIFA. Just oh, then we playing. Oh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We. I don't know if we should believe your godhood, man. Oh, somebody. Dude. Oh, hey. hey. What happened to the manga and god? Internet hey. Yes. Hey, man. I stopped introducing myself as the manga god years ago. <laughs> you the FIFA but, god. Man, long, long, long time. Time. I don't know, man. I'll just say hey. this: me oh. and Adam have been talking about playing FIFA against each other for two years. Yo, now. let's play. I don't know. See you on playing. So, you you know, you know, he questions your hey. godhood, bro. I question hey, this yo, godhood. Oh, let shit. Me find, let You're me a find false you god. Yo, do you have a PS4? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, PS4. Okay, yep. man. Let me get the game. I bet yeah, yeah. Super cheap right now. Fire it up, yo. All right. Let's cool, cool. see this. Let's see who's the, uh, who's the god who's else, the uh, fraud. Let's go. <laughs> and uh well, what's your team? What team you usually use? Reality. Do you do an ultimate team? You use Real Madrid? Okay. Yeah. Wait, what was it? Right. We're gonna string uh, this on no the throwdown. We're gonna throw it down. <laughs> We're gonna hey it'll be the first time ever a sports game would be played on throwdown. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I either pick Arsenal or Man U. Those are my two. Okay, like okay Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, I can go with Chelsea. Chelsea's a good one. Well, not for long now that Hazard's left, so they'll mm. be weak on that end. But um old Tetris ninety nine. I'm still trying to finish this. Yo, I can't win. I can't win. I can make it up to 15 and 20, usually 15 and 20. That's my level. Never get it to 10 or even to 5. Fucking hard, man. I don't know how Yo, you man, hear these that's stories. Of yeah, you hear these stories. We go, I win all the time. And I think there's a pattern because if whoever, anybody here ever played Tetris 99? No. No, man. Because uh, you can block and stuff. It's not like, oh, whoever makes the most blocks wins. You can block, you can attack, you can you can uh, kill, which is pretty much if everyone's jumping on somebody, you can pile up on that. So you can help out just to bang that person out. So sometimes you'll jump in there, and within like not even a minute, you're already eliminated. You'll just see all your blocks are stacking up because they just decided to attack you. Yeah, so uh, I'm still trying to get through that one. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and Contra, the Contra collection. I'm playing that. That's nice. fun. I'm enjoying that. I still like that game. And I think there was one other thing that I was playing. Can't remember what it was. But but majority, that's it. All right. That's it. Brett, what have you been playing lately? Um Monster Hunter. Yeah. Th- that's why I want to ask you because we gotta tell our Join story. Chris is in here. Uh, so Brett, me, me, Brett, and Chris, and you know, we try to fight Behemoth again, Monster Hunter. Brett, that didn't end well, did it? Oh, uh, I did not. Um, so a couple things. Um, jumping right back into Monster Hunter and straight to Behemoth, like we didn't do any practice hunts or warm up hunts or anything like that. We just rode in cold after six months of not playing. Me like, yeah, we can take this shit. Oh boy, we were wrong. Damn we man. So very wrong. Uh, put, some, put some respect on my behemoth name, man. <laughs> well, the other part of it was, um, usually I can just insect glade my way through just about anything. Um, yeah, this, you just jump and flip everywhere, and then mount the monster. <laughs> you know, just jump, flip, land right behind its back feet, fucking start going to town. Like I, Tony will will tell you the, the amount of times that a monster's like turned around to breathe fire and everybody starts running out and just like fuck this and I just leap <laughs> upwards over it. I just yeah. go, you know what? I'm out and I just dip. I just dip and I'm like, I'm behind the monster. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, Brett's like, I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> <laughs> Why people need me? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work uh, with this guy though. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. That one. I think I can just one-shot a motherfucker. Hey, man, um, you gotta respect the Final Fantasy monsters, man. 
You do, and you got to play them like Final Fantasy. Yes. That's what we, we kind of came down to. Like, it came back to the old, like, oh, we're failing because we don't have a healer. Let me pull out my hunting horn, which, I'll admit, worked pretty well. I am a huge fan of the hunting horn. I'm just not as good with it as I am with the insect wave. And so there was there was some uh, learning curve. I'll be honest, though, man. Like, I think that fight right there sold me on the hunting horn because I was like, dude, I'm laying down some fucking damage. Yeah. And then, dude, dude, everybody's healed up. Sweet. But then the fucking behemoth hits you with a one-shot hit kill in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kept, we kept getting one-shotted. Yeah. Hey, man, we're getting one-shot with, like, uh, fully upgraded, like, tier eight gear. Like, I'm in, I'm in half, like, Kobe Toth or whatever, however the fuck you pronounce his name. Like, I'm in, I'm in half of that gear, and still, nothing. Like, bam. So, yeah. uh, yeah, we're, uh, we need to take a more... RPG focused approach to this and not just Monster Hunter. I mean, because most of the time we play Monster Hunter like the Irish wage war. We just grab whatever thing we want and then run in going, ah! And for the most part, it works out for us. Not today, son. Not today. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think that's that's what it is. You have to approach it like an like a MMO fight, basically. Like, you got to really space that shit out. You can't just run in there hitting shit, you know? And here's the thing. With me and Chris, we had already played the Monster Hunter beta, so we were already gassed. Like, yeah, man, we got this shit. No. No. We still got fucking schooled, man, but we're gonna get a behemoth because, Brett, you said it right, man. It's like, yo, we can't show up, you know, when when Iceborne comes out and not have beaten this motherfucker. That, that, that's like staining our honor, man. Or, yeah, like, I, they will take away my Dark Souls card. Well, you know, yeah. we, <laughs> they, you know they're we, gonna come right to your house and shit. Knock you six a.m. Wake your yeah, ass no, up. Just knock on the door and be like, "I'm sorry, sir. We have uh, here a complaint about a notice of a failure to get good. We're gonna need your card." <laughs> Yo, but you guys know where you fucked up, though. Because no, no, no. Fuck that shit right now, son. We f we died because you weren't there, motherfucker. You flaked on us, man. You were supposed to be there. What happened, son? What happened? Damn. Everybody Bye. said, <laughs> "Oh, did you ever hear that mic drop? Oh, that was—is it okay? Mm -hmm. Mic repair show? Yo, I heard that. I heard that episode a couple, uh, a, a, a couple episodes back. Freaking Carlos was dropping the mic every two seconds. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> As I do. As I do. Let me just say this, man. That was the reason why you guys lost. You, I wasn't there. My hammer. It's, it's yeah, the, it's the hammer. We lost and because I, of you, yeah. motherfucker. Makes them dizzy, and. There's, there, I had a good excuse. I'll, I'll say that. Work, man. You got to make that money. But mm. this weekend, though. Let's go. You me? Yeah, oh, right? My. Oh, yeah, no. And we're going to stream that shit because we got to hear. Derp! That's got to come back, man. He's going to yeah. drop the mic on the behemoth. Yeah. Or take it. not have the power of the day. Yeah, exactly. We need that. We need That's fuel, man. Uh, but we're going to take that motherfucker down, man. Fuck behemoth. <laughs> I want my glowy fucking dragon kinsect. Yes. God damn it. All right. Oh, anything else you've been playing, bro? No, that's pretty much. Well, I'm uh, uh, getting back into Fallout 76, although I'm kind of kind of holding back, waiting for the new big expansion. I'm just going to take it all down at once. There you go. All right. Um, as for myself, yeah, I played that. I played Bloodstained, like Manny says. I, mm -hmm. I can, I'm going to say it fucking. So... I got to the final boss in the game, right? I'm like, man, I'm nice. I'm gonna beat this fucking game right now, right? So I go in there, I whip his fucking ass in like five seconds, right? And then, mm -hmm. and they're like, and he renounces his way. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, this is weird. And then he goes to the cutscene, like, oh, you defeated him. I guess everything's fine now. What do we do? I don't know. What do we do? Uh, we'll let the the church take over, okay? And then, Dur, no, 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 game over. I'm like, what the fuck? So mm -hmm. I so I basically lost because I fought the last boss too early. So I have to go <laughs> through all this other oh, shit. I'm like, man. come on, I, I, I piss me the fuck off, man. <laughs> like, yo, I beat his ass, man. The game's over. You know. So apparently, like right now, I'm just going through all these like extra like places I haven't visited yet because apparently I need Sangetsu, the sword, in order to beat this guy. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I have to beat Sangetsu the guy to get the sword. Um, but mm -hmm. so that was kind of whack, you know. But other than that, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. It's exactly what I wanted. 
interesting and I, by the way shout out to everybody that gave me props for my review uh you know people liked it they said oh i'm gonna mm -hmm. buy the game now you know um yeah always weird when i get that reaction because that's never my intention when i write reviews but I, apparently i sold a few copies of samurai showdown and bloodstain this week based off my reviews very interesting by the way some of those fgc guys that were there read my review and they liked it so it was kind of cool getting props from those guys you know um even I though think, I, think my, that, yeah, I, I think you just have a, a way like especially you have a way of you know explaining these things that you may kind of you know take for granted but i think a lot of people you know really connect with those things yeah. you know i was surprised the fgc guys like my review because i purposely tried not to use any of those crazy ass terms in fighting game reviews because nobody knows what the fuck that shit is you know oh yeah the game has th you know read dizzy combos three frame counters nobody knows what the fuck that shit is you know mm -hmm. um i i just focus on what makes that game different than other fighting games but um but anyway mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and obviously i've been playing Samurai show and i played that for a week before the review um the game is fucking fantastic man like but it is different than street fighter and i'm enjoying seeing some of these streams where people are like yo how the fuck do i do combos oh why do i why am i dying so fast it is hilarious you know it's like yeah you fucking frame counters you can't do that shit in samurai showdown this is a different game baby <laughs> you know um and what else um yeah i did, i played a little bit of the castlevania collection you know but you know how it is man castlevania is always good the old school castlevania not the you know, not the other Castlevanias that we don't want to talk about here, you know. Um, and I played Iceborne, you know, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I want to get Judgment. I still got to get my hands on that. Judgment, baby. It's going to be good. See about that. We'll see about that. All right. Uh, Brian, what have you been playing lately? Uh, first of all, I just I would just like to say I'm when when you guys were playing on um, on Santa. I'm really surprised that you guys just didn't tell the monster like your mother's name, and that would just end the fight. <laughs> By the way, Brian, we played some Monster Hunter, man, last uh, week. Yeah, we did. That was wait, we did. Yeah, we did. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I was there. We played Bloodborne, <laughs> man. I mean, Iceborne, not Bloodborne. Iceborne. <laughs> <laughs> we played Bloodborne. Like what the yeah, hell? Me, me and Riku. Yeah, me and Riku play some Bloodborne though. <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, y'all y'all banded me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean I banded um, you, man? I played Bloodborne like three years ago, man. <laughs> man, you banded me. Yeah, but yeah, Brian. Yeah, that was cool because uh, don't worry, I have a friend yeah. that thinks I abandoned yeah. him in Bloodborne. So, too. Brian, I want your thoughts on Monster Hunter because that was your first Monster Hunter experience. Um, shit's fun. I'm buying it. Nice. Oh, you it? <laughs> on PS4, excuse yeah. me. Wait, oh, PC. What are you talking about? Yeah, come on. Yeah. I'm buying it. Two years after it comes out. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, you know, you know how I do listen, things. Like, like yeah. I wait until like the whole game's out and then I buy it. So I usually I wait for, like a whole year and then I'll buy into it. Like oh, I don't like buying like chunks of it. No, buy the whole thing. Uh, but that's right. This is DLC, so it's like not Jeez. a new game. Okay, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't uh, conflate the Brian laws of physics here. Nope. <laughs> um, but I did do something very faux pas the other day. I pre-ordered Cyberpunk. Uh oh, you not very bad. So early, man. Whoa, so early. Whoa, 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 Hold on. Oh, just the, Hold just the base on. version. I'm stopping. Yeah, the base so what's version the rush comes then? What's a lot the... of shit too, though. But well, what's the rush then? If you're not, I, I you know, what I mean, like you can get that whenever. I I don't know. That's the weird part. <laughs> Brian, like you, you, Brian, like you don't pre-order like... shit. What is this? You're not Brian, man. Who is this person? Mm -hmm. That's what happens when he moves it. to a new neighborhood. He got new friends now, and <laughs> well, they're like, oh, we got to get everything early. Yo, you you will be down with us? You got to pre-order shit. Yo, like, Brian, you changed. Did you just get a random British person and none of us noticed? <laughs> Yo, Brian, man, you changed, man. I remember when you was from the hood, man. You changed, man. You changed. <laughs> We got a doppelganger going uh, on here. Shit, nah. where was the real Brian? No, no, no. It is Brian. He just sold the fuck out, man. <laughs> Brian, what's my favorite number? Adam, um, you don't even know your own favorite number, bro. Yo, that was a trick question, Tony. You don't know. <laughs> Damn, you're the worst at this game. Forget it. Gears 5? Yep. Oh. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just thought that I might as well just pre-order it so that I don't forget or something. Or, you know. Hey, and plus, it's Cedar Party Red. And plus, I did it through GOG. So, at least not through Steam or anything. So You did it through their, their standard. Through their service. Yeah. There you go. Well, well, they more offer, expensive, but hey. You can get it if you pre-order it through Steam. Wait, what happened? I said, you know, you'd actually get it if you pre-ordered it through Steam. Oh, Damn. Damn. 
Yeah, man. Everybody's kicking mud and shit. Yeah. Brian so pre-ordering. I, can, I can't Brian. believe okay. this, man. I it's can't okay. believe this Enjoy shit. Enjoy it. Um, it it'll yeah, come out so, someday. So I did that, and then I actually been playing a game called Ape Out. You guys have heard of it. That sounds vaguely cool. familiar. The silence <laughs> says it all. No one's heard of this damn game. Um, it's a game on Switch, and I think on PC as well. Um, basically like a indie, like indie top-down thing. And you play as an ape that has escaped and just just mash people up. Ape escape? Yeah. But it's, <laughs> but it's ape, ape out. out in, yeah, ape out. Ape out? Yeah. You did so hear that ape escape is probably going to get a remake, though. It so made, it doesn't, well, so it, it doesn't have the, 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 the ape doesn't have a, a police light on its head. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's published by Devolver Digital. So you can probably guess. Oh, how it's it another Devolver. Oh, wow. Well, they did the. My friend Pedro. That oh, was yeah. The Ultra. Yeah, they did that one. And they did Hotline Miami. They did a bunch oh, of oh, ultra violent, ultra colorful, ultra yeah. developer digital. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just having fun with that. It's a, it's a nice small concept and idea. You literally have two moves, which is to grab someone and then to throw them, and that's it. But hence, like, how do you do that and how do you escape? You know, very arcadey, like three lives or three hits and you're dead. Okay. It's quite fun. Small, neat, different, different. It's different. Yeah. And then since I'm moving next week and I won't have internet for like two weeks, um, I'm going to be playing some Crisis Three and Mass Effect Andromeda. I will finish Mass Effect Andromeda. Why? I, I, I need to get why? back. I need to get back to that. That's because I'm bored finish. and I might as well just just hate myself even more. Yeah, and plus, I, 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 I can't really play Warframe. I can't play Black Desert Online. No point of Monster Hunter. So you playing this on your PS4 or your PC? PC, I'm not playing on PS4. He's like, what's a PS4? <laughs> oh, my dust collector. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I did download Just Cause, but it runs really bad on, on PS4, so I'll wait for the PS5 for that one. But I might play Modern Warfare. Why did you um, download yeah. Just Cause? Because it was free. It was free. It was a free game. I, I, I know. I, I know. You know, no, you won't get that joke from me. Sorry. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> That's a Tony joke, not um, not not a Brian joke. All right, fair enough. So, yeah. So, yeah. So that's gonna be me for like the next couple of days. And also, I really want to finish Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Do I want it. To collect all 150 Pokemon. It's gonna be fun. Isn't there 150? 150 yeah. more. I'm gonna go through. I think I'm at 87 so far. So, halfway through. All right, anything else? No, that's it. Cool. All right, Carlos, man. Bring it home. What you been playing? Yeah, I've been playing chess. Damn, uh, man. What system is that on? Christ. Man? It's on my P PC. It's killing me. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were playing it in the the reality simulator that is life. Well, I do that too, but mostly on the PC against online peoples. Um, I've also been playing uh, Iceborne. I Iceborne, yeah. Yeah, so Iceborne, I, man. Yeah, I play. Well, I I, I kind of play with Tony and Brian and and Chris and and Isaac. I was just playing. I was playing with them. No, how do you say? You're, it? you're playing against them. <laughs> no, because <laughs> we like we weren't in the same game. We we're just playing at the same time. Ah, uh. they were in another game, and I joined late, and they don't want me in their party. You know they're racist, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun, man. I it, I told Tony earlier that's one of the best feelings when playing uh, Monster Hunter is when you're in, in, you're searching for a game, getting match made, and you just get match made with a whole bunch of Japanese people. You know, you know that freaking crew is tight. You know exactly. you're about to play monsters. That's and because they have the hunt, That's because they have the Mohan gene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're good. Like. I don't even. They do. They do a lot of shit that I don't even know how to do. Like kill other people. Dude, but, Japanese people just look at monster and be like, "There's small kaiju." <laughs> That's right. Like, what is this? And, uh, other than that, oh yeah, uh, I played uh, my friend Pedro also. What did you Pedro. think? Pedro. What? What did you do to Pedro? And I voted for him. Um, what? What did you think? <laughs> it's good, man. It's good, uh, right? The I music like, gets you, man. The music gets you pumped. I thought... I'm about to look in the gameplay this year right now. Y'all are obsessed with this game. 
I yo, love this. Thing. Yo, man, it's good, man. It's like <laughs> it's only Adam, man. You're like y'all. It's like the whole. No, Carlos like, just said it. Carlos just said it too. Let me, I yeah, said that represents right, three, right, yeah. know, like five sevenths of the whole podcast, man. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned it like last year. Like, say, yeah, this like my name, my name of Pedro game sounds really good and like, it looks yeah. good. I think they showed shown off at, like some conference, like towards the end of the year, or, like some Nintendo Direct or something. I will yeah, say this: it's good. Don't play it on normal difficulty. Play it on hard. Uh, play it on the at least on the next one because it's way too easy. What what uh? Well, it's not that it's hard. The whole point is trying to get your your level, your your grade level for permission. So, what's the highest level you've received? I don't even know. Right at the end, it, it tells you, and then it does a little snapshot. Are you playing on Switch or PC? PC. All right, so then you can save your replays. That's the cool thing because on Switch you can't save your replays. So you know when you get those little clips where it automatically does a little highlight reel of your best combo move, whether it's a spin, jump, kick, whatever it was, right? And you can download it and you can share it with other people. I really wish they added that feature to the Switch. So I can see that shit right now on my on Steam. Yeah, yeah. You when you go when you load up the game, it should show you all the highlights. If not, it'll pop up at the end of every mission. So once you finish a mission, you'll see where it says complete. It'll add up your score. It'll tell you your grade level, A, B, C, D, etc. And then uh, on the right side, you'll see like a video clip. And it'll give you the option to download, save, share, do that type of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, so that's where the real fun comes in because it's not so much of, like you said, yeah, it's not that hard. There are some puzzle elements when you get further into the game, but it's mainly just getting the highest score and then bragging with somebody next to you. Like, yo, you think you can do better here? Okay. And then just trying to see who gets a better grade level. Yo, yeah. man, I'm the butter player. Yo, man, I'm the guy, man. I'm like, it's cool, man. When like you, like you, because you get to dual wield mm-hmm. and get to, like get to aim like at two people at the same time. And that when you when you skill that shit, like let's say you're jumping, you're aiming at one person, you're aiming at, you're aiming at another person. Yeah. Like shit. When you, get, shit. when you get the shotgun, you go, you do slow mo, you shoot the guy, he explodes, you jump over while he's exploding, you see his head hit the floor, you turn, you kick the head, the head then kicks and it hits another guy, he goes tumbling down, then you switch out to a knife, kick the knife, the knife goes in his throat, cuts his head off, and then you kick that shit off. Amen. That's, That's awesome. it. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's going to do it for us. So I want to thank uh, Riku for being on and Lorraine as well. Thank you for having yeah, me. Man. Yeah, man. Um, Thanks. We're gonna Thanks go for having me. Yeah, man. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, it shows about to go on for 50 hours. Uh, Lorraine, man, where could people find you, bro? Um, y'all can find me on Instagram, Ray underscore squared. You can find me on Twitter, Ray underscore squared as well. And that's where you can find me. All right. And Riku? Riku San One, the only one at Riku San One on Twitter. And uh I was actually trying to get one more person in here, but uh I think we think we have a, a good uh nice uh roster here. Uh maybe maybe next week or the week after next, but uh I want to get a I want to get a you uh a YouTuber that uh I've been I've been chopping it up with a lot lately. Uh, we'll talk about that, Tony, in the future. But uh, Yo, I love how Riku's like a Mexican man. You you invite him and he brings like fifty other people with him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, got to spread the love, baby. Are you more Mexican? <laughs> yeah, right for real, man. Hey man, this, we got we. Hey, I gotta I gotta gotta do something. And the, this this podcast is like half of you motherfuckers in here about the Latino heat or whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Latino heat, viva la raza, la raza puto <laughs> coño. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just call me? Anyway. Thanks for having me. We, we, we'll talk soon, people. You already know. And also, again, I want to give a quick shout out to Metaphorical Man. And yes, I will put you in touch with Mr. Emilio so you can all, you can all talk. You know, comics, man. All right. Comic boo. <laughs> all right. Comics so that's gonna, good. Yeah, comics are good, man. They're good for your soul. Uh-huh. All right. So thank you for watching and listening. Subscribe to Throwdown on SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. Follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. At Throwdown Show. Links are located in the description below. Once again, our show is Tony Polanco. And tonight is joined by Emilio Lopez. See you later, guys. Carlos Romero. You know who it is, man. It's the anime god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second.
Yeah, Yo, did he take my line? Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, he did. Brian oh, Monjoma. Oh gosh, Google. What is you doing? What <laughs> no, is you doing? God damn. Brett Murdoch. Peace out, everybody. Adam oh, Vale. Check us out tomorrow on the Coalition WrestleCast. We have fifteen another hours of wrestling. Fifteen hour episode. What is wrong with you guys? This time we got AW, the free show that's coming up on Saturday. We got a bunch of big news that happened this week. We're going to talk about, you know, so it's going to be a good one. And we also have two special guests. We have Danny and Big Mike from uh, the Platform Podcast, and they're going to join us. So uh, this is going to be a good one. We're all going to take turns. Some people may take a nap. It's okay. They jump back in. Take piss breaks. You know, we take piss breaks. We got even elevator music when they go out sometimes. You put a little message. It's going to be cool. But yeah, drink a lot of coffee. Join us again. You know, the uh, WrestleCast on YouTube or over on the Coalition. What time does it start? It starts at 10 o'clock Eastern. Nice. 10 o'clock yeah. Eastern. Don't miss out, people. All right. Yeah, it's going to be good. Loray. What's up? Peace out, guys. You know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, say it, man. Say it, come on. <laughs> you know who it is. It's the mock guy. Right, let's go. Yo, hey. hey. right. Yo, man, that almost just resurrected. Uh, resurrected yeah, we bring uh, back Otani next week. Otani, we coming back next week, baby. Back next week, baby. <laughs> let's, let's go. go. New anime starting. We got Vinland Saga, man. Oh. Let's go. All right, and of course, Ooh. the only one. Riku Sun one. Peace out, people, man. But yeah, like I was saying, anime anime season started next month, man. We got some good shit. Doctor Stone, Vinland Saga. Make sure you're watching these animes, people. Damn. <laughs> I just got a bunch of question marks that just popped up. Imagine that in an anime. Bloop, 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 bloop. Adam's like, yo, what you well, said about my mama? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll they got an anime that's starting about dinosaurs too for you. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. All right, people. We'll be back uh for the Sunday show as always, and probably some streaming. We'll see what happens, man. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Later, guys. Peace. Peace.